does not play a short game. God plays a very long game. If you understand those things, those concepts, long game, short game. God does not play a short game. You know, short game, there's win or lose. And usually there's an end. Three months, you will lose and somebody else wins. But God plays a long game. And the long game of God has no time. I want you to get that one too. There is no time. God is not bound and restricted by time as we know it. So when things don't happen in two months and you start panicking again, God is like, what, are, what is this? Are we in the short game or the long game? I said I will do it and I'm doing it. And when it looks like you are losing and you feel like, but other people, you know, children of God, don't panic about, oh, but my friends have overtaken me. Amen. God says, so? Amen. Whose, whose child are you? Amen. I was talking, hey, he's going to hate me for this. I was talking to my brother uh, late last year, my youngest brother, and he's like, he was very emotional. Forgive me. And he was very emotional and he's like, you know, I feel like my friends are making it. They are getting jobs. Uh, I'm not getting a job. So I'm like, okay, why I No, but, you know, I lost a year. Um, so when they moved up to, 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 to Johannesburg from Durban, he obviously lost a year. Uh, I lost a year and, da, 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 and some of them even have cars. I was like, I had to sit down, sit down with him and I said, what is, what is your plan? What is your purpose? What do you want? And what is your five-year plan? No one is start talking about those things. What is a five-year plan? It's anchoring a person to say, that's life. Some people at some point will be way ahead of us. And then one year you come up and you are ahead of them. And then you are on par. And then you all lose it all. And then one day you are all at the same place. That is life. But a child of God is never, ever, ever worried about my friends are ahead of me. Up on Tangayami Banalogu Banaloku. What has God said to you? And what God is saying is, but what am I saying to you? What is my spirit saying to you? Is he not showing you what my plans for you are? Because I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you. So why can't you work with me and trust me? I am your God. You are my child. You are my chosen one. I made you. I formed you. And therefore I know what you deserve and what I've purposed for your life. Don't tell me about your friends. Some of whom I don't even know whose children they are. But yes, some of them are my children. But don't compare what I'm doing with them to what I'm doing with you. Because I have a plan. Unless if you want to be a template. But I have a plan for you. And my plan for you is. Don't eat. A genetically modified. Seed. Don't eat. A, an engineered seed. When people struggled. If you, if you read. Even. In, in, in Isaiah 43, when they struggled to access God, when they struggled to connect with God, when they struggled to feel the presence of God, what did they do? They took wood and they carved out images and they said, you are our God. Because they were trying to help themselves. God says, but you don't need these things. Because I have a way of connecting with you. All that you need to do is to seek out to me. When you seek out to me in spirit, I will connect with you. You will feel my presence. Don't go and create things. Especially now we are living in a world. We are living in a country where people are creating things. People are creating wealth. Hey, people are creating marriage. I I Instagram, 
God is like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of that. And we post fleshy things. And I don't, I don't mind those things personally. But, but you don't have to fake anything. Because God is saying, I will pour my spirit on your seed. Give me your seed. I'll pour my spirit on it. And whatever comes out of it will be of God. And nobody will question whether God has done this or not. Everybody will know God has done it for you. And it will not, you see, now this is where we come into longevity of the things of God because God plays a long game. Everything and anything that you create when I go walk, it will end. It will end. It's a pearl. But what God has done for you shall never cease. Amen.